Now it's time to uncover Haruo's legacy. Okay, let's do this. Um, actually, what do we do with this? Maybe start by plugging it in the computer? Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Maybe you want to hand it to someone else. Nah, I'm good. You plug it and what now? Turn the computer on. Sure, beep. This is so dumb. Let's check out what the files has on it. Huh, there's one program with some manuals to it. Yeah, the current creator, what does it mean? Read the manual, it should explain it. I'll leave the reading to you guys. Okay, so, I see. This program can read key cards with various security clearance levels. We can use the card reader right on machine that we have here and make one of the cards open any door we want in the mansion. Any door? Any at all? Well, any door that has a key card reader. How many of these are there? There was a reader on each blockade, preventing us from accessing the next floor. Yeah, but all of these are already open anyway. Then what about the mysterious door on the fifth floor? Yeah, he had a reader too. And we haven't opened it yet. Okay, then we're gonna use a card and open that door. Sounds like a plan. Then what are we waiting for? Let's see, if I enter the card, and select open all doors. Oh, what's wrong? Well, it's a very old computer, so it works kinda slow. So how slow is it? The remaining time is around 20 hours. 20 hours? What the hell? For writing a single keycard? Ridiculous. I'm afraid that's how it is. So what do we do now? Nothing. Just wait. Man, I really wanted to open that door. We can open it tomorrow. If we're all still alive by then. We have to hope that's the case. So, we managed to make some progress. All thanks to Haruo. Yeah, we can be grateful to him. Okay, then we'll come back here tomorrow. Now. Hey there. Oh no. Can you guys come down to the main hall for a minute? I want to talk to you. See you in a minute. What does he want? Maybe another motive. No, not now. We decided to make some progress. That's what we get for being so slow. Maybe it won't be that bad. Come on, let's go. Hey there. Have a nice evening. Just get to the point. I even said a little chat, you know? When you were all sitting together in that secret area, I felt so lonely. Whose fault was that? I have no idea. So, do you have another motive for us? So about that, I have a problem. Problem? Yeah, I don't have anything yet. No motive, no anything. Well, that's great news. Boo, you should be pitying me in these tough times. What's a bear without a well-written motive? You're not worth anything to us anyway. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. What do you mean? I don't have a motive yet, but it doesn't mean there won't be a murder. What? See, you guys are good at this. I'm sure you'll find a great motive on your own. You don't even need my guidance anymore. So that's why you didn't bring us a motive. Because you're sure that there will be a murder anyway? Yeah, something like that. How can you be so sure? Because I know y'all. You're naturals at murder. I couldn't imagine a better cast for my murder game. You. Let's keep our cool, everyone. There is no motive. That's a good thing. We just need to stay safe and do our thing. Yeah, I know you're planning something, don't you? You think you will all get out of here? Well, think again, because I know all about you and I know how it's gonna end. Your silly man like will only bring you more tragedy. Which is, of course, good for me, so go on with it. <laughs> what do you know? Nothing. Nope, I know everything there is to know. After all, one of you isn't who they say they are. That's true. If there really is a measurement in our group, it's likely that they will tell everything to Monokuma. So we can't have any secrets anyway. Well then, we just need to act fast to solve everything before Monokuma intervenes. If only it was that easy. I don't even have to intervene, you'll do everything by yourself. Remember the last two guys who wanted to do something good? What were their names again? I don't even remember, lol. The big doofus and the smart pants guy. Well, they were so confident and now they're both dead. Oop, 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 oop. You leave her all out of this. I don't think I will. See, for some reason, bringing up your f dead friends always riles you up and I think that's hilarious. Just shut up. Oh, see? Such great entertainment. Anyway, have fun. I know it feels so empty without me, but you'll manage. Bye. I've had enough of this bear. Just a bit longer and we'll be free from him. I certainly hope so. Ah, but when our plans falls apart because of the mastermind? There's always a risk. Still, we have to try. I know. Okay, everyone, it's getting late. I'll be heading to my room. Yeah, me too. Same. 
I'm left alone. What should I do? Should I just go to sleep? I'm too nervous because of everything that's going on. Maybe I should talk to Rio. He should be in his room. I don't think he's going to be asleep already. Where is his room again? Rio, Rio, Rio. Here. Try knocking. Yeah? Hey, it's me. Oh, come in. Hiya. Hi, what do you need that late? I just wanted to talk. I'm kind of nervous. I see. Is that because of what Monokuma said? Kinda. But I've also been worrying on my own. Wanna share that with me? Yeah, that's why I'm here. See, I started getting hopeful because of the progress that we've been making. But then Monokuma had to come and ruin that. With what he said today? Yeah, what if he really is one step before us? What if what we're doing will only bring tragedy? He wants you to be scared, that's how it works. If he wants to discourage us from taking action, it means that we should do it even more. He's panicking because he's getting closer to the truth. Maybe, maybe you're right. At least, I hope you are. I didn't think of it that way, but it only makes sense. We should do whatever Monokuma doesn't want us to. Exactly, that's the only way we can ruin his game. But what about the mastermind? What if they really are one of us? That is highly likely. We already agreed on that. What if they sabotage what we were doing before we can finish? What if they break the computer that we're not using and create the key card while we're not there? That is a possibility. I suppose we can only find out tomorrow if the process was successful or not. We're at a disadvantage because we don't know who they are. I'm sure we will eventually discover their identity. Me? Why do you think so? Because you're a very intelligent and great investigator. You saw so many cases already. I feel like I was always kind of lucky. I had help. You're not giving yourself enough credit. You're an investigating genius. Genius? That's a bit much. You always say so many nice things about me. Why? Because I genuinely believe them. I rate you very highly. But also because I really like you as a person. Like me? Huh. Well, I like you too. I mean, I think you're very intelligent and smart and stuff. Well, then if I am, then the two of us should be unstoppable in our investigation, right? I wish it was that easy. But thanks. Thank you for being there for me. That's what I'm here for. I really appreciate what you're doing. But still, I'm scared. So many people died. We don't know if we won't be next. We have our plans, but the mastermind may ruin them at any moment. What if we... What if... Megumi. Huh? It's fine. Come here. Ryo hugged me tight and kissed my forehead. Yeah. It's okay, Megumi. It's going to be alright. I'm with you, okay? I'll always will be. But... We will make it through this together, I promise. So many thoughts were spinning in my head, but I couldn't say anything. Okay. Can I please say like that for a moment? Sure. I'll stay with you as long as you need. Just calm down. Yeah. No one's going to stop us. We'll stay like that for a while. Hey, Rio. Yeah? Would you mind if I stayed here with you tonight? I don't want to go back to my room. Sure, if you like. Thank you. I stayed the night in Rio's room. I kept thinking about various things before I fell asleep. Like, I don't want anyone else to die, but... If there's absolutely... If there absolutely has to be another murder, I hope it's someone other than Rio. Just my selfish wish. I wonder who's gonna die next. Security layer of 204 disabled. You continue? Yeah. Disabled the security or something. You know what pisses me off, astrology fans. Like, how silly can you get, man? And I don't mean those that do it for how much fun, no, I mean those that really believe in it. You want to think a bunch of stars on the other end of the universe affects my fate? They aren't magical beings, they're fucking balls of gas for fuck's sake. It's like thinking of a fart that will affect your luck. It's also gas, but at least you can actually smell it. And what's even more silly is thinking that thousands of people all over the world will have the same fortune just because they were born on the same day. Hell, some of them even think all of them have to have the same personality. Yeah, it's so stupid. Like, how screwed is that? You do realize that all of those horoscopes and newspapers are bullshit, right? People write down don't believe it, and neither do oracles on television. The entire astrology business is one big scam preying on vulnerable people like you. Have some self-respect. Anyway, that's not what I had to say. Nice. Save. I had some nice dreams tonight. I woke up as usual. Wait, no. 
All right, this is my bed. Hello, feeling better today? Oh, yeah, I guess. Morning, Megumi. Good morning. How long did I sleep? I see you're already up. The normal amount. I usually wake up a bit earlier. Have you slept well? I know this bed is normal design for one person, but it was fine. Okay, you wanna go with me to the dining hall? I guess so. I could use breakfast. All right then, let's go. Anybody here? Nope. Morning, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hi, Megumi. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I hope you slept well. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Don't mind those two fools. Yeah, it's fine, Megumi. You have our full support. Support? Well, yeah, you know. I'm not sure I follow. Okay, Megumi. Let's just say it out loud. They saw you and Ryo coming out of his room this morning. That's why Daichi and Eri are laughing like idiots, and Fu is awkwardly trying to voice her support. Oh, I see, you saw that. Yeah, how was your night, Megumi? It was okay. It's fine, I wasn't trying to hide it or anything. I have nothing to be ashamed about. That's right, you did nothing wrong. Well, that was an awkward conversation. Now that it's done, can we just eat some breakfast? Of course, everything's ready for you. Eat well, today's a big day. What's today? Today we deal a blow to the mastermind. Yeah. In a couple of hours, we're gonna collect the key card that we made and open up that door to the fifth floor. As long as no one sabotaged the card while it was being prepared. We'll see soon, I assume. We'll open the door and that will be just the beginning. The beginning? Yeah, we'll do so much more. Watch out, mastermind, because here we come. I like your enthusiasm. Look at the rest of you. It's infectious. I'm not going to act silly like that, but I also have my hopes. Yeah, even Alucard admits it. I just said that. Woohoo. Whatever. Not even Alucard can resist every positivity. That's kinda cute. Yeah, they're funny. Just concentrate on beating the mastermind, everybody. I hope it will go well, but then again, what else can we do but hope? Let's finish eating first. There's still some time left before the card is ready. Some time later. Oh man, I'm so pumped. I'm glad you're feeling well. I like Aries' enthusiasm. I wish the rest of us could feel like this too. Just get excited, it's easy. Why are you that energetic though? Well, today's the day we deal a deadly blow to the mastermind. You mean with a key card? That's just the first step, you know. What do you mean? See, the key card is the first thing since the game began that Monokuma and the mastermind didn't predict. I guess you're right. So you need this unpredictable element to put a wedge in the plan. And by doing that, we can start following a thread. A thread? Yeah, we'll put that thread and see how far we can go. And then we'll unravel the whole fabric of their plan. That's optimistic, but I like it. So basically you're saying that by introducing one new element to the puzzle, we can disrupt the mastermind's game. And one disruption will lead to another, and that's how we'll break it all? Yeah, could have said it better myself. But why are you so certain that this will work? What if we open that one door? But the room will be empty. Yeah, what if we run into another wall right away? That is possible, but I choose to believe that we won't. On what basis? On my gut feeling, of course. Oh, that is not very reassuring. Maybe, but I know what I'm doing. If you say so. Do you have any other plans, or will you just act spontaneously? Oh, of course I have some plans, but... Huh? Well, what's wrong? See, I really like you two, and I don't want to offend you, but... But? See, you know, we still don't know who's the mastermind, so if I go around telling people my plans, the mastermind may hear it and sabotage them. I see you're being cautious. Sorry, it's not like I don't trust you. It's fine, Eri. We have to be careful with what we say. Yeah, we understand. We're not angry at you for not wanting to say something. Phew, thanks. I was scared that you'd be mad at me. We're all friends. We respect our boundaries. But we should also trust each other, right? The situation with this mastermind makes it impossible to completely trust anyone. That's what they wanted to achieve, after all. Yeah, but making sure our trust is limited, they also limited our capabilities of opposing them. It's a difficult situation. Yeah, but not for long. Soon we will defeat the mastermind and the rest of us will be able to trust each other. I hope so. I know we can do it. For someone who wants to be secretive, you sure are loud. Oops, Alucard heard us. 
yes I did, you seem pretty enthusiastic with your plans. Yep, I am. And you really are planning to defeat the Mastermind? Sure, they stand no chance against me. How are you so confident? That's just how I am. Ugh, so foolish. Just be careful, okay? The Mastermind will target you if you stand out too much. Whoa, are you worried about me? Ugh, it doesn't matter, forget about it, just watch your back. Okay, I promise I will stay safe. Is that why you came to us out of the card? No. I wanted to tell you that the computer finished its work. The keycard should now be ready. Oh, that's great. Fool told me to tell everyone to gather in the computer room. That's why I looked for you. Sure, thanks. We'll go there right away. Okay, then. Better not waste any more time. To the computer room. Okay. Time to skip this part. Computer room. Finally here. We've been waiting. Sorry, we got a bit too much in our... Conversation. What were you talking about? Um, doesn't matter. We have more important stuff now. Did the computer finish preparing the card? Yeah, the process went smoothly and without any errors. Phew, on such an old computer, it's actually a surprise. Also, we were worried about the possibility of the mastermind sabotaging the process. Maybe they are still waiting with their move. The longer they wait, the better for us. Yeah, the key card could be extremely useful for us. It's all thanks to Haruo. Yeah, it was because of him we even got this opportunity. We're very grateful to him. Did you test the card? Well, there's nothing here to test it on. We tried it with the reader plugged into the computer. The program says that the keycard has all the permissions that are possible. So in short, you should open every single door in this building. I certainly hope that the door we want to open isn't using a completely separate authorization system. Yeah, that would suck. It's gotta be fine, you guys. So we decided to use this card on the door on the 5th floor, right? It's not like we have other valid options. Well, not counting the doors that are already open. The, the 5th floor it is. Are we still waiting for something? No, we can go at any time. Then let's not waste another minute. Phew, I hate those stairs. No workout will be worth it, you'll see. Okay, who has the card? I have it with me. Then what are you waiting for? Try it. That's what I was planning to do. Let's see. Goes here. It unlocked. Woohoo. Wasn't that too easy? Why are you complaining? Let's just go inside and see what we find. Huh, so this is it. Doesn't look too special. It's not as good as the Monokuma control room, but we shouldn't dismiss it. Exactly, there may be files or items that will be very useful to us. So what do we do with it? Let's just split up and search the entire room. What did you find in these drawers? Nothing good. What do you mean? It's just more weapons. There's a knife, a hammer, a rope. Oh no, not again. And in the last one? Whoa! What's in there? Look! A gun? Yeah, it seems so. Is it real? Maybe it's just a plastic model. No, it's the real deal. I've seen guns during my investigations. There's no mistaking it. Oh no. Is it loaded? Yeah. It's got six bullets inside. I don't see any more ammo in those drawers though. The thing is super dangerous. Yeah, but it works both ways, right? What do you mean? Maybe we can use it against the mastermind. That's very risky. Someone may end up dead. I know. I think we should all discuss it together. Yeah. This thing is way too important for us to decide. You've seen many weapons here already, but a gun is worse than any of that. Not exactly worse, just more powerful. And more dangerous. That's true. Kill one or two people with a knife, but with a gun, you just shoot everyone in here. I don't even want to think about that. You're right, I'm sorry. For now, let's just continue our search. Okay? I'll look around some more. Looking through the chests? Yeah, but it's mostly junk. Keep looking, there must be something important inside. You don't have to tell me that. I know, let us know if you find something. Sure, hey! What's up? Look at this! What is that? I don't know, but it looks super important. I guess so. Look, some parts move. And they have some patterns on them? Is this some kind of puzzle? A puzzle? Yeah, you know, you have to move those parts in a specific way to create some sort of pattern. And what then? I don't know, something should happen. Something, huh, interesting. I gotta try this out. We have to show this thing to everyone later. Yeah, maybe someone will know about it. If 
For now, we should keep looking through the chest. I know, maybe there's some more of these in here. That's possible. Still, I'm super curious about what it does. Maybe when you solve the puzzle, it will open? Open? Yeah, to uncover the treasure inside. Whoa, a treasure, that would be awesome. Okay, to keep looking, I'll look around this I'll look around the room some more. Sure. Let's keep searching. There must be something here. Thanks for your contribution, Alucard. Huh, where should I look first? Hey Aika, how's your search going? I'm looking through these big drawers, but yeah? Well they're mostly empty. Oh. But not completely. I actually found a very interesting book. Look! Monochrome instruction manual. Wow. Looks important, right? Yeah, have you checked what's inside? I browse it quickly. There are many plans of how Monocom is built. Any weak points? None, unfortunately. Damn. The construction seems really solid and very futuristic too. Does it tell anything? Does it tell us anything on how to operate Monokuma? Yeah, actually. There are many commands and procedures, but I doubt we can use any of these. Why? Monokuma can react to voice commands, but only from a verified user. Let me guess the only verified user is the mastermind. Probably, yeah. We can't just go to Monokuma and tell him to do something. Even if we knew the passwords, it still wouldn't recognize our commands. Damn. Is there any other way to operate it then? Yeah, using a dedicated operating panel. Where can we find something like that though? I'm sure there must be something like that in the mansion, possibly more than one. Of course, the Monokuma control room. Yeah, it's highly likely that one can be found there. That's even more reason for us to get in there. If we do and we find that panel, we should be able to operate Monokuma even if we aren't verified users. We could order it to open the exit door for us. I think so. Maybe it could even tell us who the mastermind is. That would be great. Yeah, but first we need to find a way to enter that room. Right, okay. You keep looking through these drawers, I'll go look somewhere else. Okay. Anything else here? Nope. That's a lot of files. Yeah, it'll take a while to go through them. Anything interesting so far? Most are rather boring. Some of these are more detailed versions of things we've seen on the computers. Like what? Like plans of the mansion. They are basically what we've already seen but in more detail. Can those details help us escape? I don't think so. According to them, there is only one exit in the entire building. The one on the first floor. So the one that we can't open. Yeah, there's also one other entry point. But apparently, it only opens from the outside. It's weird. So you can enter through it, but you cannot exit. Seems so. Hmm. More interesting is that there's apparently a whole section of the first floor that is completely closed off. Behind that one blocked door? Yeah, it's probably the Mastermind's headquarters. Wow, so if you can enter there, it could help us a lot, but I don't know how to do it. I see. Anything else besides the plans? Well, yeah, I found these. It's the files of people who already died. Oh. It shows their name, age, date of birth, height, weight, and so on. Only for those who are dead? Yeah, so I can't check my name or anything. Damn, they can't even give us that. Anything else? Yeah, and it's weird. The first page gives us the standard data, like the one I told you earlier. And right after that, look. Was that some code? Yeah, it's a bunch of code written in some programming language. Maybe if Haro was here, he could tell us what it means, but I cannot. Yeah, me neither. And it gets even worse. After that, there's just a bunch of values written in hexadecimal format. What does this mean? I thought these files were supposed to list the data of participants, not some computer code. I don't understand it either. What does this have to do with us? I wish I knew. Well, we should show it to the others later. Maybe they will know something. Yeah. Well, that's all I found so far. I'll keep looking. Okay, good luck. I think I looked everywhere. Okay, everyone, I think we should gather and discuss what we found. Sure, let's do this. Okay, everyone is here. So, it's time for another brainstorming session. You could say that. We must discuss everything we found in that room and what to do next. There were so many interesting things there. Man, I'm glad we got this key card. And it's all thanks to Haruo. I suppose we should be thankful to him. This was certainly a fruitful search. Let's begin. Okay, so I found a bunch of files. What kind of files? A bit of everything, really. Most of them are pretty boring, but there were some interesting ones. Tell them about the ones we discussed. 
Yeah, for example, there were more detailed plans of the mansion. And was there another exit somewhere? Sadly, no. A uh, bummer. Yeah, that is unfortunate, but it seems like the only way out is through the main door on the first floor. Which is still tighter than a bank vault. Yeah, that's true, sadly. What's more interesting that there's an entire sector on the first floor that is not accessible for us. I see, maybe that's where the game is run from. The mastermind might be here. I thought we already decided they are with us. So they might go there when we're not looking for to manage the game. That's possible. You don't have any way of going there either, though. You're right. I haven't found any passages. I'm just saying what was in the files. Anything other than the mansion plans? Yeah, there were also files of the people who already died in the game. Oh. Only those who died? Nothing about us? No, nothing. I couldn't even learn anything about myself. Can any of that data be useful to us? I don't know. They were mostly what we already know. But there were also some weird numbers in code. Code like programming? Yeah, I don't know what it means though. Damn, I wish Haro was still with us. Yeah, he would be really useful with this. Oh well, thanks for the report, fool. No problem. What have you found, Rio? Well, a gun. A gun? Like a real gun? Yeah, an actual six shooter revolver. It must be rather old, but I think it still works. Have you tried shooting it? Of course not. Phew. That sounds super dangerous. But also very useful. You think we could challenge Monokuma with this thing? I don't think so. Monokuma's made of steel. These bullets would just graze him. But he'd probably kill us right after that. Yeah. Maybe we cannot attack Monokuma, but the mastermind? That's a different thing. I see. The mastermind is human, so a bullet would stop them. Yeah, but we don't know who they are. Exactly. What use of a weapon that we don't know who to aim at? Let's not shoot anyone, at least for now. So what should we do about it? Should we just leave it where we found it? That would be stupid. Yeah, if we do that, anyone can go and take it, including the mastermind. We should give it to the person we trust the most. Is there anyone like that here? Why not Rio? He's been trustworthy so far. Me? Yeah, besides, he's the one who showed us the gun. If he wanted to use it against us, he'd probably just hide it. That does make sense. Okay, Rio, will you take the gun? If you're all asking, I can't refuse. I promise I will be careful with it. I certainly hope so. Okay, so that's the gun taken care of. What's next? I found this weird puzzle thing. I didn't know who to describe it. I didn't know how to describe it, so I just took it with me. What's that supposed to be? It seems important. It looks like something you'd see in an adventure movie. Yeah, like a nature artifact that leads into the Temple of Satan. I don't think it has anything to do with Satan, though. I hope it's not connected to Satan. It was not made by Satan, although it might have been made by the mastermind, and you can't argue which one is worse. I have pretty strong opinions in this debate. Anyway, can you all please stop saying Satan? It creeps me out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How do you even know that it's a puzzle? Because parts of it move, and when I move them, they form various patterns. It's like a more fancy Rubik's Cube. Man, I never managed to solve any of these. Maybe it's not that hard, we've got to try. Yeah, but what can we achieve by doing it? I'm sure we're supposed to solve it and then something will happen. Something that doesn't tell us much. If I may add something, this looks like one of those secret pu- If I made something, this looks like one of those secret box puzzles. What's a secret box? It's a box where you hide all- It's a box where you hide a small item inside. To get to the item, you have to solve the puzzle. So there's something inside, nice. Well, maybe that's some kind of treasure. I wouldn't expect much looking at the size. Size isn't what's most important here. That's what they always say. Now what I mean is, maybe something important to the mastermind. Like what? Like that remote that opens the exit door? That would be great. But what are the chances? We don't know, that's why we have to find out. The mastermind did not plan for us to enter that room, right? So they didn't think that we'd find that thing either. Which means whatever is inside was not meant for us, so we can use it to fight the mastermind. Yeah, they probably didn't expect that. We can use the element of surprise against them. They will certainly fight back though. Well then, le well, let them do what they want. We'll still win. Suck it, mastermind. So what do we do? So what do we do with the puzzle? I'll take it for now. I'll try to solve it today. And if you can't, then I will pass it on to the next person tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. So that's that for the puzzle. Any other findings? 
Yeah, I found a very interesting book. Books aren't interesting here. <laughs> what kind of book? Uh. Ah, you mean the Monaco Instruction Manual? Whoa! Yes, indeed. What does it say? It contains the detailed plans of Monokuma. Yeah, and he's super high-tech. Also, he seems to not have any weak points. That sucks. Yeah, I haven't found any information that would help us defeat him. What about being able to override his programming? Any secret passwords? We found out that even if you know the passwords, you can't enter them by voice if you're not a registered user. So the only mastermind, so only the mastermind can do that. Damn. Wait, but that would mean that we can force everyone to say the password in front of Monokuma and say who he reacts to. That's a pretty clever plan. Certainly, there are no passwords in the book that we could test it on. The mastermind must know them by heart. Ah, and I thought I had it. That was a nice try, Fu, but we must try harder to defeat the mastermind. What about the Monokuma control room? Could we operate Monokuma from there? The book says you can use one of the control panels for Monokuma to operate him without even being registered. I'm pretty sure one of those panels is inside that room. Okay, but how do we get in there? That we don't know yet. Of course. So that just confirms our thinking that getting there would be extremely useful. Yeah, if we could control Monokuma, we could order him to let us out. We would, so we would effectively end the game. What if we just break the door down? I mean, if we immediately order Monokuma to stop, he won't kill us for breaking the rules. That's an interesting idea. No, that's too dangerous. Why? We don't know where exactly the panel is. We don't know how it works. We don't even know if we will be able to successfully use it. Right, and if we can't use it right away, Monokuma will probably execute us for all... Monokuma will probably execute us for violating his rules. Damn. I agree, that's too risky. We still have some options now. Let's not get to the most desperate ones yet. Fine. Okay, I think we've discussed everything, right? I guess so. Then our meeting is over. Everyone knows what to do, right? I think so. Let's take a short break, everyone. You've deserved it. Okay, then. See you soon. I think I gotta talk with someone for a while. Free time. Let me just save here. Um, I think we have one last uh, free time event for Alucard, maybe. Free time, free time. Where's that guy? There he is. Yeah. Hi. Oh, it's you again. Miss me? Not really. Well, I guess I am in a good mood today so I could talk to you a bit. Wow, I feel so honored. Let's keep the sarcasm, okay? Okay. So, what did you want to talk about? I don't know. Last time you told me your story and it was pretty interesting. That interested you. Huh. Yeah, so I wanted to hear more. In particular, how do you go from being the entry-level goth to becoming an ultimate goth? Well, that was mostly luck. In short, after I started showing up to goth events in my self-made clothes, I got noticed by someone. That person was interested in my style, so I let them take a few photos and a video. Turned out he was an online influencer who had a fashion blog, and he was pretty popular. So once he wrote about me, people became interested in me. They invited me to bigger events, asked for photos and even tips on making clothes. That's how my fame began. In only a few months, I went from an unknown person to a goth star. It was pretty nice. Sounds cool. Later, I started getting letters from fans. Many told me I was their inspiration. And what shocked me the most was that one of them was from someone from old school. Being able to inspire people to express themselves was a great feeling. I kinda miss that. Yeah, I get you. Hard to inspire anyone when you're locked away who knows where. Exactly, that's why I can't forgive Monokuma for trapping me here. I need to get out and rejoin my fans. I see, well, that's just one more reason for us to escape. I'm sure we can do it, somehow. While I do admire your optimism, let's hope you're right. One more... Easier. Sure. Hi Daichi, what are you doing? Can't you see I'm training? Daichi was playing with the ball. He kept juggling in it in the air and doing various tricks with it. How well, he actually managed to find a ball in here? Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff just laying around here. This ball needs some air, but I'll manage. Is it even possible for you to train here? It's not a great place for that. Yeah, but a real pro must be able to train anywhere. I can't complain. Also, you don't need some partners for real training? 
Yeah, it's better with other people, but what can I do? I asked some other people, but no one wanted to play with me. Huh, I wonder why. Yeah, but you're here. Maybe you could be my partner. Me? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I guess. Here, try to take the ball away from me. Daichik just kept running around me doing his tricks. I couldn't do anything. Nah, you suck at this. Well, I'm not a pro like you. Yeah, I guess. Okay, now let's do one-on-one. -on -one. You try to score this door down the hall, and I'll go for this one. Okay? Yeah, it's 8-0 now. What even is the point in this? Wait a second. He keeps doing the same tricks over and over again. So if I try to stick my foot in a specific moment... Wow, you actually scored one. Well, all it took was to observe you a bit. Damn, I need to be less predictable, I guess. Thanks for playing with me, I learned a lot from you. If you say so, not a problem. See you soon then. Hey there, everyone. Hey, what's up? We're doing a special event today to help us all relax a little. I don't need to relax. I could use some time off, to be honest. Yeah, with all that's been happening. Exactly, that's what I thought. So what's your plan? Alucard and I are doing a barbecue party. Wow, barbecue, that sounds delicious. What a nice idea. But where can we do stuff like that? We're indoors. Well, there's the indoor garden. We should be okay there. I guess that's possible. See, I found a grill in the tool shed a long time ago, and I've been waiting to use it the entire time. But before the fifth floor was unlocked, there was no place where it could be safely used. I see. And you're hosting this together with Eri, a la card. Yeah, I agreed to join this to balance the menu a bit. What do you mean? You know, Eri, the woman is obsessed with meat. Well, meat is just so delicious. So if I let her do it alone, it'd end up as a meat fest. I had to step up. I see. By joining the barbecue management committee, I ensure that there will be various vegan options available. I get it, so it's nothing to do with wanting to do stuff with me. Well, the menu thing was more important than that. Okay, the more food, the better. And the more vegetables you eat, the more meat will be left for me. So basically, everyone wins. I suppose so. Are there any vegetarians or vegans other than Alucard? Not that I know of. Well then, I guess most of us will be eating meat then. I can't wait to see what you two make. You'll find out soon, no worries. So when do we begin? How about right away? Yeah. I'm hungry too, I suppose. I still need to try to solve this puzzle today, so I want to get this out of the way. Right, there's still this thing. Have you already invited the others? Yeah, for when the boys said they would come too. Daichi was pretty excited. He's always excited. So there's nothing holding us back. The grill and food ingredients are already in the garden. We could go anytime. Okay, let's go now then. Sure, I'll go there right away. No need to hurry. The food won't go anywhere. But someone can eat it. But it's so raw. Some people are hardcore like that. Barbarians! Okay then, I'll be going at a reasonable pace. When is gonna go with a murder? In the fifth floor. In the indoor garden thingy. Into the garden, here we go. No murder. Hey everyone, welcome to the barbecue party. Yeah, barbecue, barbecue. Someone is excited. And for a good reason, we got some awesome food prepared for you. I can't wait. We're pretty excited as well. I'm sure it will be delicious. So what have you got for us? Well, the basis for a good barbecue party is a lot of sausages. Nice. There's also chicken wings and chicken filet with herbs. Sounds wonderful. And for the side stuff, we got bread and tomatoes with onion. Should be enough for everyone. Ahem. Ah, yeah, there's also the green stuff that Alucard brought. What do you mean? What do you have, Alucard? Fried zucchini, eggplant, and corn. Interesting. As well as fried potatoes filled with cream. Ooh, nice. Seems like we're about to have a feast. Yeah, it will be great. I've been wondering, Alucard, what's with your apron? What's wrong with it? I know, right? He looks hilarious. I do not. You totally do. I need this apron to protect my clothes from getting dirty. I don't think the apron itself is the issue here, it's how it looks. Yeah, with all the frills and stuff. I added them myself. What? The only aprons available here had Monokuma's face on them. I would never dare to show myself wearing something like that. So I had to modify it with my personal additions. I see. Does it really look better than before though? Yes it does. I guess you look hilarious with the Monokuma face as well, so it's a win for me either way. How is that a win for you? Because I can laugh at you, haha. 
Well, if that makes you happy, be my guest. I will enjoy my vegan barbecue food anyways. That's the spirit. Also, these wooden skewers are not sharp at all. They're terrible. Even the ice pick from the kitchen would be... Even the ice pick from the kitchen would work better than this. Okay then, let's see. Sometime later. Wow, this is great. Yeah, I haven't eaten that good since we got here. It's nice to relax at least for a moment and not think about the game. I wish Haru was with us though. I know, I miss the others too. Still, we have to go on for them too. Okay, I guess I can eat this chicken wing in his honor. That's one way to do it. Man, I love eating grilled stuff with mustard. Mustard is good, but ketchup is definitely better. What? No way! Mustard is the best. You don't know anything, man. I clearly know better than you. What's that thing called? Uh, mayonnaise and ketchup com combination of them? Forgot what it's called, but that pink stuff. That using burgers. I love that shit. But I certainly know better than you. Eating meat is overrated anyway. It doesn't matter what condiments you use. Eh, who asked you? Yeah. Fine, I won't say anything. Did we just witness the start of another food war? This is just pineapple and pizza all over again. Or nachos versus popcorn. Well, it seems we have a tendency for those arguments. Man. Ah, never mind, I give up. You two are the grill dads, so I guess you know better. Grill dads? Yeah, this is a phrase sometimes used for a person who operates a grill during a barbecue. <laughs> okay, I can be your grill dad. And I refuse, I hate this phrase. Why is that? It's so unnecessarily gendered. You can operate the grill regardless of your gender. I know, I know. Being a grill dad is not about being a dude, it's a way of life. That's deep. No, it isn't. It's still stupid. Okay, Alucard, you can be our grill overlord instead. Fine, I suppose. It's so stupid and so obsessed about... Uh, it's so gendered. Who gives a shit? Do you have a lot of experience with grilling, Alucard? A bit. I did it several times. How about you, Mary? I actually did it many times. I have a lot of experience. Glad you were under the protection of a pro. Yeah, I know. There's to know about grilling. Is there that much to know about it? Yeah, you need to know how to start the fire and how to keep the coals hot without the heat going out. Also, you need to be aware of how long each type of food needs to be grilled. Yeah, you can't burn it, but you can't serve it raw either. I've grilled many times, so I know. You can count on me. We'll do that. You know, sometime in the past, I used to have a girlfriend. Oh? Her parents loved to throw barbecue parties, but they were pretty terrible at it. So in the end, every time I visited during one of those parties, I had to be the one to take care of the grill. Even though you were a guest? Yeah, pretty awkward, huh? I can imagine. She was me anyway, Alucard is way more fun. I am? Yeah, you're way cooler than my ex. I'll take it as a compliment. Once we're out of here, we can do another barbecue, just the two of us. I guess I can look forward to that. She's gonna die. Sometime, <laughs> I'll see you more time later. I'm so full. So it was worth it. Oh, definitely. Okay, everyone, we've eaten everything. Thank you for joining our barbecue party. Thank you for doing it. It was great. We must repeat this one day once we're out of here. Hopefully, we'll all still be alive by then. Of course we will. Thanks again, everyone. It's getting late, so we'll be going to our rooms. Yeah, I'll probably do that, too. Now what? Okay, go to our rooms, right. First floor, here we go. Here we come. Hey, Megumi. Oh, hi there, Rio. Still not going to your room? I came to check on you. Oh, me? Why? Well, yesterday you were looking pretty shaken. I think I'm better now. Thank you for your concern. So you'll be able to stay alone in your room tonight? Yeah, I think so. I'm not saying I don't like your company or anything. Sure, I get it. I just need to take a rest and have some alone time today. I'm tired after eating so much. Yeah, that was a lot of food. Totally worth it, though. Indeed. Okay, then. I won't keep you any longer. Good night. Good night. Da, 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 da. That was a good day. The barbecue party was great. And it's so sweet of Rio to be that worried about me. He's a really nice person. We made a lot of progress today, I think. I hope the mastermind won't strike back now. We just need a bit more time, and I'm sure that we'll solve this. Time to sleep. Unfortunately, back then, I didn't know just how empty my hope was. I had no idea what was happening when I was sleeping soundly through the night. What? What happened? 